Hey everyone, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast. Today we're going over the this week's comic book, action figure, and pop vinyl haul. Uh, if you notice the, the shelves behind me, before you ask, uh, I just did videos for all my pop vinyls and I'm going to rearrange them and, and put them back on the shelf. So it's still not, you're not looking at the same ones week after week. So that's where they are. So that way you know. Um, this week I didn't find any action figures, but I did find uh, some new pops. So that's something to look forward to. Just stick around for that. Plus uh, our um, three picks of the week for covers of the week. And I'm starting off with my um, non-Marvel and DC. Start off with Angel City number four. And so far, I'm liking this series, uh, four issues. Uh, to me, this is about the part where I got decide, do I want to keep going or not? But I'm going to keep with this one. And this week, I, I've actually began my kind of cut back on my comics because I have been getting too many week to week. So I'm going to start cutting back. And you'll start seeing that a little bit more and more. Uh, next, from uh, Image, we have Moonshine, number four. And I really like this cover. Uh, it was kind of close to making that final cut for my top three. I love the fact that the, the gun, the, the gunfire is making the light for that's causing the shadow back there. I think that looks really, really cool. Really nice of use of light and shadowing. I think that looks great. That looks awesome. It's a really good series. Uh, this is when I did pick up the B cover as well. I wasn't going to, but I was like, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'll go ahead and get that one as well. But in the future, I'm going to really, really start cutting back on stuff to, to whichever cover I think looks better is what's going to end up, what I'm going to end up doing. And my last uh, uh, independent, this is from Dynamite. Uh, was it last week or a week before last? They had Red Sonia number Z, issue zero, and it was 25 cents. So I was like, let me check that out. And I, I liked it, so I went and picked up number one. I picked up the B cover on this one, which I think this one looked the best. And there were some really cool looking covers, but I like this one the best. So there we go. So I can't wait to dig into this and to see what's going on with issue number one. So that's pretty cool there. <clears throat> and again, I would like to apologize for my little bit of coffee in there. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, now Marvel, I've only got three issues, and well, two of those are... Uh, our variants. They said that right there. We start off with Inhumans versus X Men. So far, for the, for the issue zero and issue one, I'm really really liking it. So I picked up just like last time the the variants of this with the individual characters on because I think they look really really cool. I think that looks really really nice. So yeah, I definitely had to pick those up. There we go. And I cannot wait to. To bust into the next issue, uh, to bust into this issue, so I can find out what's going on, man. Because I, I, like I say, I really enjoyed it. Next, uh, Spider-Man Deadpool number thirteen, and I really like this cover. Kind of a shout out a little bit to uh, Planet of the Apes. You can see all the apes down here chasing them. And then up here, you got like this big gap here, kind of reaching down, trying to grab them. Spidey senses are tingling. And you got another one up here, so I can't wait to see what's going on here. There we go. That looks really, really cool. And Deadpool's trying to shoot the man in the hand. Come on. Come on, Deadpool. What's wrong with you? Uh, next, we go with um, DC. And again, I've really started cutting back on these. So uh, there's a few of them I'm still getting uh, variants of, but much, much fewer. For example, this one right here. Uh, Justice League versus the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now they had a bunch of variants. They had a blank one. Uh, they had uh, an issue for each character uh, versus the other character. And, you know, one one issue, uh, one cover for each one. And the one I was going to get was Batman, but I just didn't like the way that one looked, so I ended up passing on it. Uh, one that looked good, and to be honest, I really wish I had picked it up now was uh, Cyborg versus the Yellow Ranger. I thought that looked really, really cool. I thought that was a really nice looking cover. So I kind of should have picked that one up. But as it was, I just kind of stuck with the, the uh, A cover and just kind of went with that. But I can't wait to read this because uh, I know the um, Justice League versus Suicide Squad I'm loving. So hoping I like this one as well. 
And now we're on issue number six of All-Star Batman. This is one that I may quit getting uh, the variants on. Um, I have been really liking them, but this this issue I did not like too much. Uh, there's three of them. I'll start off with uh, the C copy. Here's the C issue, which is not bad. Kind of look like a puzzle there, like a crossword puzzle they've got going. Not bad. But the reason I, I want to stop it is because the A and B covers are almost identical. And they really are identical, except, you know, this one's got like a, like a Mr. Freeze type of outfit on versus just the regular ones, just like Batman out in the cold. And go ahead and make something different. I don't like it. It's, it's practically the same cover. And I, I'm not big on that. I, I don't like that at all. So... I mean, both of them are jock covers, cool enough, but I just think they can do better than that. They should really be able to do better than that. So, if it's not a better cover next time, I'm only going to get one. Uh, next, Detective Comics, number, what is this, uh, 948. Uh, cool looking cover here. You got some vultures in the front. And we're slowly, slowly, slowly approaching issue number 1000. Cannot wait to get that. That's... Yeah, you know, we was it number 48, so about a year away. Actually about half a year away because every every two weeks you get one, so that's about half a year. So slowly approaching. And next, this is one that since it's only a six issue series, I will continue to get all the, the uh two extra the two variants on it is Justice League versus Suicide Squad and the first three issues I've really, really liked. Uh, the Justice League um, has the tie-in, and Suicide Squad has a tie-in, which I really like those as well. So here is number four, which looks really, really cool. Oh, I can't wait to dig into that. Uh, this is the B cover, and each one, each uh, week, they have one with a Suicide Squad member and a Justice League member. And this one is Flash and Boomerang. This is cool, Boomerang. He threw his uh, boomerang and Flash is standing back there. He caught it. And boomerang doesn't know where it's at. Which I think looks really, really cool. And then we have the action pose. The Finch action pose. Which looks really, really cool. Yeah, e each one of these I've thought have been really, really good. Really well done. There we go. And speaking of the uh, Suicide Squad. Uh, the tie-in. There it is. Number uh, Suicide Squad number nine, the the Justice League versus Suicide Squad tie-in. There we go. You got Lobo and the and that group there with them. And I kind of think of this woman's name is it Emerald Enchantress? I have to look that up. For some reason that does not sound right. It's Emerald something, and I cannot think of it. Well, when I dig back into the, this issue, then I'll remember. But so far, I'm liking it. But there's one little thing I don't like. But no spoilers on it. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this series. Because there's one little thing I'm not liking so far. But, yeah, Still, it's pretty good. And that's the B cover. And I like this right here. You got Lobo. He's reading it like he's got a, a centerfold uh, pull out there. But it's just reading this, this comic, as you can see. <laughs> Which I think is kind of funny. <laughs> Which I don't think there's any foldouts in the book. There you go. Uh, the last one before my uh, picks of the week, and this one right here just alphabetically happens to be the last one, but it was it was very close to being on my uh, final three for the week. Uh, Titans, and you have Superman and the Flash in our foot race. Only reason I didn't put this one in there, because I think it looks really, really cool, but it's just been done before. And that's the only reason I, I didn't pick, put this one in there, because I know they had one... Uh, a Harley Quinn where she was uh, racing the Flash on on uh, on skates, and I know there's another older one, so that's why I passed on putting this one in my top three. But still, I think I think it looks pretty cool. And now my top three of the week. Hmm. Yeah, let's go this way. Uh, number three is going to be number nine forty eight, uh, Detective Comics. This is the A cover. This is uh, Batwoman Begins. So I'm really excited to dig into this. She's been in it a little bit, so can't wait to read and find out what's going on with Batwoman. 
Batman Woman Begins Part 1. I'm really liking they having these kind of small mini-series running through them. I really like that. And then uh, Inhumans vs. X-Men. This is the A cover. There was another one that was out that I did not find uh, with with uh, what's her name? Medusa. Is that her name? Medusa? For the Inhumans. And she's, her hair is all out, and it's like strangling people all over the place, which looks so cool. But as it is here, too, as you can see, her hair is kind of going around people's necks and stuff as well. But uh, the other one was a little bit better, but this right here is phenomenal. And like I, I was saying uh, before, I'm basically just now learning about this group, the Inhumans, from uh, Civil War. And what I'm, what I'm reading, I'm really, really liking. Really like this group. Really regal group. Uh, really like a, a, like a, just a leading, a first family type of group. So I'm really liking them. And my pick of the week, um, I just think this looks cool. Uh, I, I know nothing about the character, so I can't wait to read it. This is uh, Justice League of America Rebirth Vixen. I think that looks really, really cool. So I can't wait to dig into this. Um, just to find out this character. Like I said, I know nothing about the character, so, you know, new stuff for me. I'm so excited about it. There we go. Vixen. And now my, uh, pop haul of the week. For the first time in a couple weeks, I believe. We're starting off with a couple I got from Walgreens. I got the Ms. Marvel, uh, Walgreens exclu exclusive. Kamala, uh, Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan. And this is my first one of her, of uh, Ms. Marvel, so that's awesome. I'm happy about that. So I got that. And this one I didn't think I was going to be able to find, but Scarlet Spider. Very happy to be able to find this one. And as you can see on the back, it's got some of the other uh, Walgreens exclusives that uh, Marvel has come out with. Is that on the back of this one as well? No, no, it's not. On the back of this one is some of the ones that will be coming out soon. We have Iron Fist, Luke Cage, uh, Black Bolt, and Blade. So that's a group. I definitely want all those. And I know there's a variant of um, the Iron Fist coming out with his white uniform. Um, and in my mind, I want to say it comes out on uh, free comic book day. So maybe just at local shops. So you might want to check that out. So that's pretty cool. And uh, my last two will go with we'll go with the Dorb first. Uh, the specialty series we have the Batman, the Blackest Night. So I thought that was cool. You know, it's Batman. I'm gonna definitely try to pick it up. And well, the one I think one of the small few things I really like about Dorbs is got the window in the front and the back, so you can see all the way around the door. There we go. Just looks cool right there. I like the side of the box too. That looks really, really cool. Oh, this side's better because it's got the Blackest Night on there. So I think that looks pretty cool. And the last one, to be honest, I had no idea this was coming out yet. So uh, it's a character I think is really, really cool. And it's a very heavy pop too. This is uh, Max Rebo from the Specialty Series. So I thought that was awesome. Really put that with my Star Wars collection. I think it looks great. You know, they also had a Dorbs of the Flash. And for the life of me, I cannot remember if I had it or not. As I think I did. Then I thought, well, maybe I didn't. But I didn't pick one up. So I don't know. I just don't know. I have to look and find out. You know what? I need to do a video of my Dorbs. That's what I need to do. And that's what's all on the back. Uh, let's see. I believe all these are. Yep. Yep, all these are out already, right there. I know they are, because I, I, I have that Yoda. <laughs> so, there we go. That's my haul for the day, my pops and my comics. Uh, let me know, what did you guys get this week? Because uh, I always like hearing it, so just let me know. And uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, because I have links down below for that. And that's all we got, and you guys have an incredible day.